grant we did with all the local fire safe councils. So me and her really led that effort. So just recap a little bit on that. You should be able to share. Okay. I think you have access. Alrighty. Perfect. Okie doke. So just recently we we were we were for the last 10 years or so we were the Central Ventura County Fire Safe Council and at one of our board meetings I said I just am not clear what Central Ventura County even covers and we weren't really clear about that so we started looking at where we've offered programs um, throughout I guess the last decade and we realized that it was broader than Central Ventura County and we put in an official name change and just a, a few months ago we were officially the Ventura Regional Fire Safe Council because we have programs um, throughout the county. And I, I thought I'd start, probably most of you already know this, but I thought I'd start with, well, what exactly is a fire safe council? And it's, it was interesting because before I joined, um, I had no idea. So there's about a, over about, there's about 120, 124 fire safe councils in California. In Ventura County, there are four. Um, there's Ojai, Ventu Park, Bell Canyon, and Ventura Regional. We're, we're, a, we're a community led organization. We mobilize and we empower local residents to protect their homes, neighborhoods, and communities against wildfire. And we would like to see far more fire safe councils develop in Ventura County. Um, and that's what we, we would hope to, we hope, we hope to see that and help nurture that. And as you would imagine, we educate the community about wildfire resilience, preparedness activities, et cetera. We work with local fire officials to design and implement programs that increase wildfire survivability of communities. Um, so generally, there's sometimes there's countywide fire safe councils, and there's also very small neighborhood fire safe councils. Um, we only have four, but in San Diego, I think there's something like 50 fire safe councils. Um, all working together to promote wildfire resilience. Our vision is to ensure that our local communities are resilient, safe, and prepared to withstand the threat of wildfire. That's what we're all about. And I thought I'd start a little bit with our story. Um, there's only like five slides. And interrupt any time, please. <laughs> um, about about 10 or 11 years ago, ranchers and farmers got together with local fire officials and started saying, what can we do to protect our farms, to protect our livestock, to protect our livelihood from wildfire that seemed to be coming through every year? And those original farmers and ranchers formed together and created um, over about a year and a half, the Central Ventura County Fire Safe Council. Um, and many of those original members um, still are on our board of directors or um, on our advisory board. And I came, I came because I, my whole background is in public health, my professional background, but um, I was living up in the Santa Monica Mountains for oh, about 25 years. And my mom and dad had built a home in the Santa Monica Mountains about over 50 years ago. My mom is now 95 years old. So she had a farm. She had a, about 250 fruit trees. We had large and small animals. Um, and you probably know where this story is going. Uh, we, my daughter and I lost our home and my mother's farm was also lost in the Wolseley fire. We were only able to get out with very little because our car was packed with the pets we were in that long line on PCH trying to get away from the fire, thinking at any point we were going to be overtaken by flames um, as it traveled west to the Pacific Ocean. So about a year after that fire, a position became available as the ED for the Fire Safe Council, and I took it. And I took it because there were things that we just, as a family, we just did not know about 
wildfire resilience. We were in a very high fire area. We knew the fire department. Our land was cleared. We had sprinklers on the roof. We thought we had done everything we could to protect um, our our homes, but it turns out that there's there was way more than we could that we could have done. And and I really felt and still feel that that's. Uh, that's the role of a fire safe council. And I wanna try and work with our partners and with our neighborhoods that this does not happen, whatever we can do to, so it doesn't happen again. Um, I also joined because I was pretty inspired by our board of directors. Um, they are, and then I'm sure you, you know many of these folks, um, they've been around for a long time. There's Michael Plant, he's the board president. Um, Marta Alvarez is a, um, has her own business here in Ventura County. Rich Atmore is one of the original founders and president. Luis Espinoza um, worked, worked with the city of Ventura Fire Department until he retired. Um, Vern Allstott, longtime colleague and friend. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I, I just wrote this this morning. Jim Roth, who I know you all know. My apologies that I spelled his name wrong. Pat Hanley representing the realtor industry. Jim Ness is a mapper, a GIS mapper. Michael Rubin brings us expertise around the insurance industry. And Jonathan Boring, a relatively new board member who brings us in, uh, an expertise on social media. In a relatively short amount of time, we went from an all volunteer organization um, to now we have four almost full-time staff. And um, August 1st, we're moving into the Farm Bureau of Ventura County space. It's a much larger space, which we need, it's, um, and it's pretty thrilling for us because we were all crammed into one little room in the Poinsettia Pavilion, and so um, just in a few weeks, we'll be moving. Like you, we offer lots of community programs. Um, we do home hardening. We do um, both offer training in home hardening. We train trainers and we do home hardening assessments. I think we've done probably about 50 so far, primarily in Piru and in the Thousand Oaks area. We do fuel management where we work with County Fire Department and the California Conservation Corps and Fillmore Fire, Ventura Fire. To do fuel management, we also offer chipper days. I think we offer about 10 a year throughout the county, primarily in areas of highest risk for fire. That would be Piru, Fillmore, Santa Paula, Moore Park, parts of the city of Ventura. Um, we also do education work like you. We, before the county fair got canceled, we always had a, a, a booth at the fair and put together um, kind of an, in the ag building, a information, like with four hours of information about wildfire um, at the county fair, do lots of webinars and um, just educational presentations about what we do. We do something called the ranch plan, which is pretty exciting um, that we, that the board conceived of as far as I know, um, and then it kind of died. And then we're trying to bring it back where we work with large, mid to large size ranches and farms in Ventura County and we map it. And we show where all the sensitive infrastructure is on those mid to large farms. Like where, um, where are the water sources? Where are the cattle located? Where, um, where the, where's the hazardous waste? What are the priorities to protect? Um, what are the paths in, a, in and around? Mm -hmm. So we'll map that and make it available through either electronically or through maps at the entrance to the farm or ranch in advance of a fire. Um, we also were just funded um, to develop the CWPP or Community Wildfire Protection Plan for the county and also um, multiple individual cities have committed to develop their own CWPP or wildfire protection plan. And that's really important because a CWPP is not the government, but it's a community organizing together to identify what their highest priorities are around wildfire prevention, putting it together in a plan, having that plan signed off. And then once a community 
has a CWPP, they're far more likely to be able to compete successfully, successfully for um, <clears throat> dollars to implement those priority projects. So those are some of the things that we do. Um, as Andy said, we were we worked together with the RCD on this wildfire collaborative with Cal Fire um, on a pretty large grant, and it was pretty interesting for all of us to collaborate together for the first time. Um, it was a collaborative of the Fire Safe Council and, the, and RCD as the lead. Um, also, Andy invited the Fire Safe Council to partner on the virtual wildfire series that's every other month. So those are the two things that we've done in the past. And the thing that I really wanted to ask you and explore with you is, well, our two organizations are doing really amazing work. So moving forward, like I, I wonder, how do we partner together based, based on our strengths and our unique skill sets of these two organizations? What do we each bring to the table um, not to compete, right, but to enhance. 